the bridge of a futuristic space vessel during a battle. Ensign stands at maneuvering thruster console. Lieutenant commands very important technical controls. Status? Protective enamel vaporized. Outer hull still intact. Nuclear alternator fused. Ship's toilets still flushing. Laser beams depleted. Salvo cannons, death torpedoes, and electro zappers in working order. On sea deck, 27 of the crew, including the best officer, were sucked into space during that last exchange of firepower. Thank you, Ensign. When I want more bad news, I'll let you know. This ship has endured worse. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Indeed, sir. And with regard to forestalling total disaster, I've got General Nasty Puss coming through on the communal prompter right now. A slimy green alien hell-bent on demolishing the universe. He's taken up an orbital position over planet Earth. Oh, looks like he's changing course, coming straight at us. He's charging weapons, but in any case, he'll be available presently for a ship-to-ship -ship chat. A loud explosion rocks the ship. Oh, here he is! <laughs> General Nassipus, in the name of the Consolidated Confederation of Intergalactic Peace, I demand your immediate surrender! Captain, I expected more from you. You have proven to be a very disappointing foe. I was going to destroy your ship, but I now realize that you can only watch helplessly as I irradiate Earth's oceans, enslave half the planet, and convert the Western Hemisphere into a petting zoo. By my gigantic genius, will you will be staggered, and then you will die. Through gritted teeth. Thank you, Ensign. Captain, did something happen to your uniform? Chagrined chuckle. <laughs> Laugh it up, Buzzball. Seriously, Captain, are you not humiliated by your lack of garment? Brightly, in a moment of inspiration. We could give one final burst to the engine. We'd burn up in the atmosphere. Not if we're really fast. And a quick black blast of ordnance from every cannon we've got. At this range, we'd run the risk of vaporizing the Earth. It's a risk we'll have to take. Ensign, keep up that positive attitude. You'll go far. When this intergalactic crisis has been averted, the lieutenant and I shall have a little chat in my study about maintaining decorum. Lieutenant looks away in shame. Why talk you amongst yourselves? I say again, Captain. Why are you wearing only briefs? My God, he does like to gloat. Let him wait. Bad idea, sir. We've got it coming! Massive explosion. A ton of casualties! <sighs> Captain leaps to his feet, aroused to instantaneous rage. You know full well it was a transposer accident, you sick! Translator is delivering my message. Oh, uh, what the hell? 